Did you know your blood has something in common with rust? Yep, rust. The reddish flaky stuff you see on old bikes and fences. Let me explain. You see, iron, yes, the same metal used in buildings and cookware, is also inside your body. It's an atom that, if it had feelings, would love to get rid of a few electrons. Now meet oxygen, another atom that's like, hey, I'll gladly take those electrons off your hands. When these two come together in the right environment, bam, you get rust. So, what's that got to do with your body? Well, your blood is kind of doing something similar, but way more elegant. Let's dive into it. Your lungs take in oxygen from the air. But oxygen can't just float around aimlessly, it needs a ride. And that's where your blood comes in. Specifically, a molecule called hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is amazing. It's made up of four parts called hem groups, and each hem has a central iron atom. But that iron isn't just sitting there alone, it's surrounded by four nitrogen atoms, holding it in place like a carefully set jewel. Around that? A beautiful ring made of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. Think of it like a throne for the iron atom. This structure is no accident. It's perfectly tuned to hold onto oxygen, but only gently. Just tight enough to carry oxygen through your bloodstream, but loose enough to let it go when it gets to where it's needed, like your brain or your muscles. When oxygen binds to the iron in hemoglobin, your blood turns bright red. That's why the blood coming from your lungs is so vivid. But when the oxygen is delivered to your cells, hemoglobin lets go of it, and your blood becomes darker as it heads back to the lungs for another load. So in a way, you're rusting, almost. But not quite. Instead of forming crusty flakes like rust on metal, your body has engineered a reversible, elegant system to use the iron-oxygen chemistry over and over again. This is a perfect example of biology in action, taking raw chemistry, like iron bonding with oxygen, and fine-tuning it using incredible molecular architecture. It's not just reacting, it's orchestrating. And the result? Life. You. Just think about that. Every breath you take, every beat of your heart, is supported by this tiny molecular dance between iron and oxygen. Isn't that incredible? So next time you get a cut and see red, remember, it's not just blood. It's a beautifully designed delivery system, a living, breathing chemistry set, using iron and oxygen to keep you alive.